Did you get the walleye? Hector! Can't talk. Freezing. There you are. What's wrong with you? Cold. It's only 20 below. Do toughen up. In the pot, please. Ah, breakfast. Be a good boy and go away, Claire. Can I warm up first? You can do that later. Besides, there's no coal today. No coal! No coal! The wagon couldn't get through on account of the blizzard. But it's 20 below! We'll just have to keep busy then, won't we? I'm hungry. Good morning, Claire. What do we have to eat? Iced walleye, same as yesterday. I hate iced walleye. It is not iced walleye. We thaw it before we eat it. Yeah. That's what we've had all winter long. Every morning I have to go out and fish in the frozen lake. And before I get home, the fish freezes. It's not fair. Fish is very tasty. Does that look tasty to you? Hector, go wash up. I'm cold. Go put on your woolen. Why is there no fire? Someone used all the coal. I am really not happy. Children, we are very far from town. With the rivers frozen, the steamers can't get through. And with all the snow, neither can the horses. We'll just have to make do until spring. How long is that? Not long. Winter's short in the north. Only six more months. Six months? I'm very cross. Enough of that talk. Get ready for breakfast. Someone's there. Might be a bear. Do bears knock? It is not a bear. Who else can make it through the blizzard? Good day. Good day. I'm Sven and this is my sister Hildy. Yeah, sure. Sorry to be trapping in like this. I'm Trudy and this is my little brother Hector. This is my sister Claire. Are you lumberjacks? Yeah, sure. We finished a load of work, but we can't move the logs down the downstream. River's frozen. Oh dear. We need the steamer to move the timber downstream. To the mill. Yeah. We're stuck. That's dreadful. Can't you find a cart to move your logs? No, sure. Roads are all frozen. Solid ice till the spring. Well, that's only six more months. Six more, more months? months. Sweden was warmer. So, well, friends, how can we help you? Well, um, you see, it's like this. We want the stolen. What's stolen? Swedish pastry, full of cinnamon and sugar and sweet icing. Do you have a stolen? I don't think so. We want the stolen. I'm ever so sorry. We have fish if you're hungry. See? They don't want iced walleye either. It's a bear! Yeah, sure. It is not a bear. Mon Dieu! There's a monster! I have seen it! Bonjour, I am Jean-Claude. A monster? We. Oui, it is beast that breathes fire! Fire? Or maybe steam. I'm not sure. But I saw it! It was horrible! Oh, let's go see! We are not going out there. Do not go! You will not survive it! Do you have any got to? Got to? Cake! I am craving chocolate cake! I am in my cabin all winter long! All I can think of the cake! The cake! You can have iced walleye. Is it chocolate? If you pretend. Good day. But the dear monster! I do not care. I cannot take this cold life. Let the monster have me. Really now, it can't be a monster. It's huge. It roars, it rumbles, it glides along on two steel ribbons. It does? In all my years here chasing the furs, never have I seen such a beast. Maybe it's a giant beaver. A giant beaver? Maybe it's mad at you for taking its furs. Or maybe it's mad at you for messing with this dam. Did you disturb the beaver dams? Uh, maybe? Oh. That is not funny. I am not laughing. Well, let's just have a look then, shall we? No! 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 The monster! It arrives! Well, that's not a monster. It's 
James J. Hill, at your service. Anyone like amends? Yes! We! Oui. Yeah, sure, you betcha. What a lovely little cottage you have here. It is? So remote. And tiny. And freezing. How are you coming here, Mr. Hill? Through the ice and the blizzard. And the monsters. Yeah. My friends, I have a proposition for you. A chance that comes but once in a lifetime. Listen close. I'm building a wonder of the world. A railroad? Smart kid, thanks for listening. But why? Think, my friends. A line that stretches from the Midwest all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Through the mountains? Through the snowstorms? Through the desert? I don't think there's any deserts. Yes, there is a desert. Yeah, desert, yeah. But I need workers. I need a rail crew, young, strong, fearless people to pound the spikes and lay the eggs and smooth the roads. And folks, I need you. Come with me to the West. Well, you see, not that we're not excited. We are. We're very excited. No, we're not. Oh. You're very nice, Mr. Hill. But we have our logs to move when the road clears. And me, my furs, when the ice melts. In six months. And even though we can't take our fish to the market, we still have to stay here. Why? To guard them. Nobody wants those old walleye. There's adventure, new places, and money. Money? And new foods. Did you say food? Wouldn't y'all like to try sushi? Is it chocolate? That can be arranged. Well, I do not like adventure, except for the beaver. I see, well, perhaps the governor of Minnesota could convince you. Governor, governor Pillsbury? Actually, I'm Governor Pillsbury's wife. He doesn't care for the cold much, so he sent me. How do you do, ma'am? What a cute little igloo you have here. It's not an igloo. It's just cold. Mr. Hill will fix all of that. We need a railroad to move your lumber, to move your grain, and to move your furs to get you something better to eat than this frozen stone. It's not a stone, it's a fish. And we need you to help us build it. The railroad can help with all of that. 
No. Yes. We can turn this frozen land into food. But everything here is for us. We're farmers. It's no good to us. It's very wrong, Missy. There's an old saying that you may have forgotten. Lay the axe, the plow will follow. A food and logging nation we became. The Union Pacific crewed in 10 miles a day. Who taught you that? I do my homework. How can you do your homework when there's not even a school over here? I brought my books. Do we at least get a golden spike when we're done? Sorry, wrong railroad. There is Trudy anyway. Oh, she's gone. Mr. Hill's training her. Yes? For what? I don't know. She won't say. It's not fair. We do all the work. Laying the ties and the rails and pounding the spikes. It's not fair. She'll be back soon. Well, I'm taking a break. It's too hot. Don't sit there. I can't if I want. There's a rattlesnake on the track. No, there isn't. I warned you. Snake, snake! I told you. Then what's the matter, young ones? Hector sat on a snake. <laughs> oh, yeah. They like the tracks. Thanks for telling me. Well, we've been surveying. What's that mean? Deciding where the line should go next, silly. <laughs> Smart girl. Yeah. Can't run the tracks through a swamp, can we? Well, what's it like up ahead? Lonely. Lonely, yeah. For miles and miles we walk, and all we see is grass. Trapped. Mon Dieu, my back, it's aching. And we have the blisters, and we don't like it. No, sure. Are we almost to the Pacific? Not yet. It's not even close. Is it lunch yet? Tell me, is it lunch? Not yet. But I'm so hungry. Why are we building this foolish thing? To get through North Dakota. Shh, they'll hear you. North Dakota's boring. There's no one here. Look, it is desert. Actually, it's a prairie. Bah! 
same thing. There is no shade out here. North Dakota doesn't have any shade. Well, they should move North Dakota to a more shady spot. Why don't we just pave all the land road? Roads would damage the environment. The train is better for nature. I want to go home! Yeah. To our little cabin. Yeah. To our tall forest. Yeah. To our frozen lake. No! Anything will be better than the snakes, coyotes, and no water! Lonely prairie, no people! And giant beavers! Giant beavers? I'm only kidding, sorry. All I see is flat and dry and hot. Do you know what I miss the most? Our river, our beautiful flowing Mississippi. Crouchy. My back is aching. We have the blisters. Why does Mr. Hill want this stupid railroad anyways? So the trains can reach people. There's no one out here. Coyotes? They don't need a train. No one here needs a train. We don't know that. Listen to me, little girl. There are no people out here. You don't move. You don't move. Papa, are they monsters? Hush, Bumbina, I don't know. They look like monsters. Go away, you monsters, go away. Hi, I'm Hector. Stay back. You're not talking to monsters. 
Really now, why do you call us that? They speak our language. They might be people. You think? But they are so ugly. Hush, Miha. I'm Amelia. This is my wife, Rosario, and little Bonita. How do you do? I'm Claire. Are you monsters? No, we're Minnesotans. Minnesotans? It's just a place. It sounds awful. What is this Minnesotan? People from Minnesota. Me, me. Minnesota? Everyone knows Minnesota? Is it in Iowa? Close, but we have a much better hockey team. Sorry, but we're not traveling people. Oh, we can tell. We do not see other people. No one comes here. Ever. Ever? We're the first to visit you? They're here to visit us? Did you hear them, Mika? Our first visitors. We have company. We have company. What a star this. I'm Jean-Claude. Bonjour. I'm Sven, and this is my sister, Hildy. Yeah, sure. You've never seen other people before? Never. Well, but don't you have a town? We're the town we are in. I'm the mayor. I'm the secretary. I'm the chief of policemen. Stay out of trouble. Our town name is... Bonita Bell. We are still deciding. Oh, cool. you have a tourist bureau? What is a tourist? Thousands of people who will come every year to your town and spend the money. Yeah. yeah. But what are you doing out here, all alone? We mine in the iron ore. Deep underground with axes and shovels. Very dangerous work. So much it's piling up, no one will come and buy it. Or take it away. You know, we might be able to help you. That is why we're here. To bring us service. We're building a railroad to help reach people like you. Railroad? What's a railroad? New foods, friends, and travel. And new places and faces. A way to move your grain and potatoes. And the lumber. And or all the way to the Pacific Ocean. What's Pacific Ocean? A place to get sushi. Sushi? Come with us and you'll see. Papa, I want to go to the Pacific Ocean. Is it hard building a railroad? No, it's the easiest work in the world. Because it's for a good reason. We will help you, but first we need a favor. Yeah, sure. What can we do for you? Anything? Come visit us. Be our first tourist. We will open new stores just for you. An hotel and saloon. Antique saloon. stores, barber shops, and parks. I need a strip mall. What? Bonita, that can wait. Our town welcomes you, friends. Make yourselves at home. No riding bikes on the sidewalks. Or else. This way, dear tourist. But we don't need to walk. Not now. But how will we get there? We have no horse. Yes, we do. We have an iron horse. An, an iron, iron horse? horse? Come ride the train with us. We'll go on style. And build your town its very first train station.
My nine, Stanley, Wolf Point, Montana, Pacific Junction, Whitefish, Eureka, Libby, Bonnet's Ferry, Idaho, Spokane, Washington, Soap Lake, Plant Sea, Lavinwood, Scenic, Washington. Next up, all aboard. Thank goodness you're back. We were so worried. What did you find? Avalanche, can't see a thing. Tracks are buried in the snow. How high are we? Really high? Yeah. 4,000 feet. I do not like heights. This is why I live in Minnesota. We just have to press on. We're so close to the end. Covered in snow. The engines can't get through. Scared, amigo? No, I don't get scared. I'm thinking I'll be safe. What is this place called? This is the town of Scenic, Washington. This is a town? It's not very scenic to me. How long does winter last here? Only oh, once a year. Whoa! Once we're over this pass, it's all downhill to the ocean. Can you smell the salt water? That is my sweat. I'm tired and hungry. Let's make soup, soup is good. It's not break time yet. But there's an avalanche ahead. We can't get through. You know Mr. Hill's rules. We work 12 hours, then we get our soup. 12 hours? But it's only Six days a week. Six days a week. With no heat or warm clothes. Aww. What? With no paid vacation, 401k, daycare, or health insurance. What? I say we dig in and clear that snow. Who's with me? Can we have soup first? Please. Everyone up! Trudy! Trudy! back! Thank goodness we're working much too hard! Yeah. Where have you been, sister? Goodness! I see some workers slacking off. I may have to dock your pay. Dock our pay? Uh, what do you mean, dock our pay? Who is this? Oh, that's her sister, Trudy. Please call me Gertrude. I'm your new foreman. Oh, excuse me, forewoman. What? what? Mr. Hill realized he needed someone trustworthy, responsible, and reliable to manage his crew out here on the frontier. Oh, no! He picked you? Naturally, as the eldest, I was deemed the most responsible. I've been away at management training program. Management training program? Never mind. It means I'm your boss. Well, I see a spot of snow up ahead. A spot? A spot? All right, an avalanche, but no obstacle for our combined muscle. So let's all pitch in and clear that line. That snow won't move itself, you know. You're going to get it. Hard work keeps the body warm. You're so going to get it. If you wish to get paid, you might want to get to work. I'll be in the manager's car. They have a manager's car? I don't believe it. There's a manager's car? They picked her for boss? That's my worst nightmare. This is bad. Yeah. We only make $1.50 a day. They can fire us anytime they want to. And they can replace us. For no reason. And if we get hurt, we get nothing. They don't even send us to the doctors. And doctors are scary anyway. We built this entire railroad for them. They're gonna make millions for my hard work. And they get manager's cars. And nice uniforms. And warm caps. And I bet they stay. We've got to do something about this. 
I have an idea. Let me guess. You want to give in to her? Let's go home. Let's complain. Let's throw tantrums. I like tantrums. I say we form a union and go on strike. A what? A what? A what? A union. Yeah, sure you betcha. We organize. We tell her we want better pay, safer work, fewer hours, better food, or we all go on strike. You're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. They'll fire us all. Then who will build the railroad if we're all gone? I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're a genius. Who wants a union? Say aye. Aye! Who says no? Aye! aye. No, I mean, forget it. We're a union. I can't help noticing that no one seems to be working. Hmm? My work crew seems to be deaf. Let's start off with some layoffs. We're a union now. We're the sisterhood. And the brotherhood of young Minnesotans. Of North Dakota. Track laying. Bike pounding. Snake fighting. Railway workers. And we're on strike. Oh dear. I think she's mad. She looked mad. Do you think she's mad? My friends! Union! 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 My friends, why are you so not happy? We're cold. We're underpaid. We work in unsafe conditions. And you get managers' cars. Goodness, it's chilly out here. I, I think you need better clothes and warmer food and 25 cents more a day. We want 50 cents more. What? 50 cents more a day? You'll break the bank. Or we don't move. Fine, whatever. Let's get to this evidence before we all freeze. Wait, I think you all need some hot soup first. Soup? Woo! Sky Combs, Index, Gold Bar, Sultan, Everett, Edmonds, Richmond Beach, Seattle, next up, Seattle, Washington, end of the line. Now arriving on track number one, the first train ever from St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Do you smell that? What salt. is that? Salt water. I smell salt water. Ocean. Yeah. My friends, thank you for your fine efforts to link the great states together. We can never thank you enough. Here's the key to the city. <laughs> also, here's a lifetime pass to ride the railroad. Yeah! Plus, a lifetime supply of our favorite delicacy, sushi. And now a few words from your friends. My friends, now that it is warm again, I can get out more. Friends, you've laid the, the foundation for the transportation system of the future. One that will link the entire country. I see Lyra and Mass Transit, electric high-speed trains and monorails. Maybe even trains that ride on one anti gravity machine. But for now, well done, friends. With the railroad, the upper Midwest turns into a major transportation center. People will move to our region. Goods will flow to and from us. People can move without damaging our environment. <laughs> Thank you, James J. Hill.
Say it. Say it. Don't worry about it. Children, we are very far from town. With the rivers frozen, the steamers can't get through. And with all the snow... Try that line again. <laughs> I'm lost in this. Okay, I'm acting at least. Me! One. I know I'm lost. Jordan is distracting. Really? One, two, right here, okay? Three, go. A way to move your grain and potatoes. And the lumber. Uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Really? It's St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Paul, Minnesota. One, two, three. Now arriving, the first train from St. Paul, Minnesota. One, two, go. Papa, I want to go to the Pacific Ocean. Oh. Yeah. One, two, no. Yeah. But what are you doing? Okay, ready. One, roads will damage the environment. The train is better for nature. You didn't say go. Ready, roads will damage the environment. The train is better for nature. What? <laughs> so it's just me now? It's oh, after we're not going out there. Oh. One, two, go. We are not going out there. Do not go. You will not survive it. Do you have any got two? Got two? Cake. I'm craving chocolate cake. I'm in my cabin all winter long. <laughs> 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 Can you give it a line You guys before? keep a straight face. Just give it a line. In before. character. Okay. Do you have any? Do okay. you have anything? Are we okay. rolling? Yeah. Yeah. Got two. Doors, barber shops. Hey, you don't know your lines. Barber shops. One more time. Shops. Shops. Ready, set, go. We will. No. My friends, I have a proposition for you. A chance that comes for once in a lifetime. Listen close. One more time. But I love the little cottage you have here. It so is. Re oh, damn. <laughs> okay, okay, it is. So remote and tiny and freezing. How are you? Here we go. But the D monster. I do not. But the D monster. I do not care. I cannot take this cold light. Let the monster have. Is it really important? Okay, yeah, it itches. Go. Ready, set. Together, we can never thank you enough. Here's the key to the city. Woo! Also, here's a lifetime pass to ride the railroad. Woo! Plus, here. Let's throw tantrums. I like tantrums. I say we. Do the hustle! <laughs>